Tom Beckett, I wouldn't tell a lie. One of my stories. Um, anyway, has does anybody remember this movie, uh, Gremlins? I, I used to see it when I was younger, and I thought it was a real cute movie, and my grandson didn't care for it. Anyway, I guess, I don't know, maybe he's too young for it still. Anyway, so I'm back with one of my stories, and uh, this is about an image on a wall that appeared on my wall for two weeks. It stayed on there for two weeks. I used to uh, be angry or hold a grudge on the way uh, Jesus had to leave us, um, the way he died for our sins, and um, I don't know if anybody saw The Passion of Christ, but that movie really made me cry. Um, I couldn't bear to see them hit him. Anyway, um, so back then, I was younger, it was in my very early 30s, and uh, I used to uh, pray, I used to pray to God and tell him that I would like to see him one day, you know, and um, and uh, one day I was praying and I felt this uh, kind of, um, I can't tell you, it felt like, like, a, like a electricity or kind of like a, not talking, like something like a, a real soft, um, like the only way I can explain it is like, um, like, um, gosh, I don't know, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but like, if something were to shock you, you know, you feel that electricity, but it's a real soft uh, feeling, not nothing, you know, um, scary, you know. Um, but I felt this presence around me, like, someone was hugging me and uh, so I was praying I remember I looked up on my wall and this image started to appear well I was looking at it and I said what is that and so on the wall this image appeared and it was a man sitting on the throne with a robe on and only the shape of his face. You couldn't see his face. There was no sign of anything on his face. You know, you couldn't see his eyes, his lips, his nose, nothing. It was just a outline of his face, you know, just like around here. And so I did a painting of that image also. And, uh, but that image was there and stayed there for two weeks and when I that image appeared the only person that saw it was one of my neighbors um because we lived in a duplex and me and my neighbor she was an older lady and she we hung around a lot and so I told her to come in my apartment and she came in and I said do you see something and she goes who is it she spoke Spanish on me but she said quien es and I said, no, no, say, yo. I told her in Spanish, I was praying, and then this thing appeared on the wall. And she really was kind of nervous about it. She didn't know what to think, you know, but she was the only one that saw it. And I kept looking at that image, you know, just, I didn't show anybody else because it didn't come to mind. And, you know, everybody was doing their own thing out there. You know, we hardly hung around with each other. And uh, I mean, when it comes to me and my sisters and brothers, um, didn't tell my mom and my dad, um, didn't tell my former husband. Um, I think I told him, I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna say I told him, I don't even remember if I told him or not. So I don't want to lie. So, but that image was on my wall for two weeks. And all I could think was, was it Jesus? Was it God? I mean, had does anybody have the power to see that? I don't know. But it did appear on my wall. And um, 
like I said, I was praying and I just felt this feeling come over me and I felt like there was this like giant person just hugging me with his arms and then this thing appeared on my wall, this image and that was the title of my painting and uh, image and uh, so I hate um, didn't know how to share this story with anyone but now I'm sharing it and um, yes, it's another one of my stories, and I'm going to continue, because when I was little, I did see things, and um, I call them visions, or just, what are, what are they? Um, supernatural things? What? I really don't know, but I saw that, and I saw some other things, and uh, I hope that you like my stories. And if you do, can you subscribe, please, and give me a thumbs up and a like. And uh, my uh, YouTube channel is um, EA Unicorn, or East Austin Unicorn. And also, my grandson has a YouTube channel also. It's uh, Big Boy Alex. And uh, he's only two. And anyway... Um, I'm new, new to YouTube, and honestly, I'm just doing YouTube videos because I'm kind of bored with my life. I don't know if I'm going through a crisis, but um, there are so many things that happen with me and my family, you know, me and my children, um, that I'm going to share everything with you. But not all at once. Um, yeah, um, just give me a chance. You know, I'm pretty sure I'll get more interesting. And uh, so, like I said, please like my channel and subscribe. And I'll be back again with another one of my stories or doing something else. Um, Or telling you um, for what else I do. You know, I go hunting for vintage and antiques, and sometimes I find things like this. It's pretty, but I won't tell you where I go because there's already too many people that really know about it. But I will show you what I find, and uh, are these. These are little things that you put, you can put a quote on it, but it's a cute little vintage in the case. It's pretty cute. Anyway, that's where I, was, where I also found this little remnant. And but my grandson didn't care for it. And also, um, anyway, oh, and I found this cute, um, this real neat. Um, um, Magnifying glass is real neat. I mean, I can see everything through this. I mean, the smallest thing. So, that's like 10 by 25 millimeter lens. And uh, if you can see, I'm always having glasses on because I can barely see it. But, anyways, um, also just had a pecan pie. They're at Walmart. They're real good. They're two for a dollar. I don't even know why I'm talking to you about it, but they're delicious. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Excuse me. That was rude. Anyway, so, um, yeah, please um, subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned. Thank you. Have a good day.